His green light is evergreen. Mm -hmm. Simmons taking all comers and having his way. Ben Simmons at 18 against Phoenix. Utah struggled of late from downtown, just 33% from behind the arc the last four. Inside floater off the glass, a put back. And Ben Simmons making a statement early with a couple of early buckets. He's 6-0 as a starter for Utah. Back inside, Philly attacks. And Simmons has the first six for the Sixers. Saved along the baseline by Danny Green, the former Spur. Double pump. Rudy went straight up. Nope, he leaned in. And they're going to call a foul on Gobert. They go to Simmons again. No Embiid. So a bit of a faster lineup tonight. That ball nearly thrown out of bounds. Mike Scott rips it home. Simmons puts a shoulder down, turns, fires, glass, and a 10-point quarter and a timeout by Quinn Snyder. Simmons, 10 points. Tobias Harris was seven. Now there's a shot. St Seth Curry, five in Orlando. That's where it all started. Then to Boston for nine. Clippers for seven. And now here in Philly. And Philly's on a... They're dialed in. Clark's at a 37% that's average for an NBA player. And if you're used to seeing him as Curry responds, Clarkson in his old roles. His role is expanded here in Utah. See if the Jazz can get a couple of stops and capitalize. Yeah, it's been tough to 11 of 14 shooting as Harris goes pick and roll with Simmons, uses the left hand, and a pretty shot. 12 for Ben Simmons. That same mentality, three is more than two, but the Jazz still need to get some stops. Favors tries to slow down Simmons. He does a little flex down there in the paint. And a foul on Faves. He's flexing right now. Three-point play, 15 in the quarter. Kind of feels like Jokic a few, yeah. a few games back. Sixers love that paint. They could, they see that there's, there's uh, opportunities in there. They're not shooting a lot of threes. Time stuffed the paint. Gobert wants the ball. Ball's loose. Yeah, a little too much velocity on that one by George. Simmons runs by Ingles and Niang. A 19-point quarter. Simmons behind the back, forces that ball back out. Tobias Harris in the paint, floater in the paint, and scores it. Doesn't decide what he's going to do. He just reads the defense, takes the best shot. Cutter inside, circus shot, falls down for Curry. Yeah, I mean, it was all about defense. And trying to figure out how to keep Ben Simmons from getting where he wants right there. Joe on the wing. Again, the Jazz cannot handle the dribble, and a whistle stops the run by Simmons. This is so much fun to watch. Guys step up for each other. Bogey becomes the fourth Jazz band to hit double figures. Soft touch three. Mike Scott. Hey, those numbers are really out of sight when you really break it down. I mean, the fewest clutch minutes. That's just because they've just walked away from team. You know, for him to be able to do what he does, it's just a beautiful, beautiful thing to watch. He's hit five threes. He had a pair. He had to work for them, by the way, against the Heat. For the 20th time, has hit 20 or more points in a game this season. 21 for Mitchell. Harris crowded in the paint. They go inside. The turn off the glass. That's patented Dwight Howard basketball. You know, really, T, Utah and Philadelphia, they've handled the ball really well tonight. Seven turnovers for the Jazz, nine by the Sixers. And that bucket gets a hop in. Simmons in the paint. There it is. Ties his career high of 34. Just past a 10 minute mark. Simmons one on one with O'Neal. Drives inside, lowers his shoulder. The hook shot for two. It's a beautiful shot. All right, watch out, Philly. As we know, every team makes a run in the NBA. And Simmons scores his 40th of the night. They're going to pick things up themselves. Out of the timeout, Clarkson, errant pass, turnover. The 10th for Utah. And Simmons continues to add to his career high now, 42. So Bogey will launch it deep. Good look by Boyan. Simmons kicks it out. Harris nails it. 
when teams trying to take away things like Rudy's touches. Well, other guys have to step up and find their their spots. The lead was nine for just a tick. He'd show up somewhere there. He was a great one too from the three-point line. Highest scoring game in a Jazz uniform for Clarkson. His career high is 42. I think there's such thing as a O'Neal effect as well. Making Curry miss that shot, but getting a great opportunity on the other end.